Yeah, I think after I, like, eat for the day, I'll mess around with some township tale. Maybe Tay and the others would be interested. Okay, this wasn't it. Was it the island resort? No. It's been a bit, too. Oh, that looks different. No, it wasn't this either. Lark. I remember it was like a, uh... Like a forest hill type thing. If this shows what I think it does. It might be it. Yes, this is it. Perfect. Because I want to poke at this for a little bit, just big AMA and enjoy myself. Just talk. Take a break from doing game worlds, because I don't want my arms to get too sore. And so I can, uh... Essentially stall slash filibuster as long as possible. Let's only use one die. Because otherwise, it's possible to mill through this entire board in a few good rolls. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna toss a die. Whatever number it lands on, we go that many spaces. Six. For fuck's sake. And let's answer that question. Alright. So to start with, how'd you find the furry fandom? Um, answering this question Middle school. I was going through a bad bout of bullying. I was already a fan of Sonic and whatnot. And one day I decided to just go on the onto the internet, explore a little bit, try to find something interesting to look at. I found various webcomics. Among them was, and you are probably going to start screaming on this one, Bittersweet Candy Bowl. Yeah, considering how dark that particular one got, yeah, um, you can kind of understand how fucked in the head I am. <laughs> uh, bittersweet candy bowl. I do not recommend it unless you have good uh, mental stability, and even then, it's a little. It can be a little rough because it deals with a lot of difficult psychological and concepts, period. But anyway, from that, it stretched over to, uh, So Furry. Make your jokes now. And the rest was history. <laughs> Actually, well, I'm at it. Let's see. If I can get a good overarching view of the board. That's as good as I'll get, probably. That way, I don't need to worry about uh, meddling around with the camera. Well, as much. Wee. How is that not this? <laughs> Screw you, game. Twelve. What is a show or movie that you like that also has anthropomorphic characters? Uh, there are several directions this can go. Because I happen to... I happen to like, uh, well, as was mentioned, Sonic. BNA was pretty good. In terms of movies, Zootopia was actually really good. I'm surprised that they're making a sequel in that one. I know, very stereotypical answers, but honestly, I haven't- I don't watch too many movies or shows lately because I'm so busy. I should. One. What is your definition of a furry? Interesting. This one's a bit of a spread question, because the definition is going to vary from person to person to person. For me, at least, 
I define it as, uh... A furry, at least from my experience, tends to be a person who's been so ostracized from society and humanity, period, that they no longer identify themselves as being human. And I do understand that's a bit of an awkward definition, because there are things like other kin, which... Those pe these types identify as actual animals more than humans. It's a branch, but it's not necessarily all of all the furrydom, etc., etc. I would say it's more. How do I put this? It's a cultural thing, if that makes sense. Just if you choose to associate and identify yourself with this culture, you're furry. If you want to talk with people that are furries, that's fine. You don't have to be one. Does it help? Depends. Specifically, it depends on you and your perceptions of the world. If you're not comfortable with seeing yourself as human, that's perfectly fine. If you're comfortable with seeing yourself as human, that's also perfectly fine. I'm not. Another one? Game, stop! Two sixes, two ones. We've got both extremes in four rolls. What the fuck? What would it be like? This question is weighted. I don't. I'm, I don't own a fursuit. I don't consider. I haven't considered ever getting one. It sounds very uncomfortable, and no. Honestly, if I were to think about it, then it would probably be something airy, loose-fitting. It also doesn't help that, and this model doesn't really show it, Blake usually wears very loose-fitting clothing in the first place, and, well, his normal, their normal clothing is already in tatters, so all the better on that one. How often do you imagine yourself as your uh, persona? Very often, actually. To the point that I go entire days without uh, seeing myself as human. Sp the, uh... Like, there is a study on this type of thing where it's like... Species dissociative disorder or something like that. Where you are so ostracized from humanity that you no longer identify yourself as human. And some people have, some psychological studies have linked it to why people identify as being, as not being human in the first place. I, it, it kind of fascinates me, but regardless, if I were to give an approximate amount of hours and day, it would probably be all of them. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing humans, and I am I hate my face, I hate looking at humans, period. It's easier for me to dissociate everything. Is it healthy? No. I should be seeing a therapist. But it's how my willpower works. One. Stop! Have you ever lost a friendship from a person discovering that you're a furry? No, actually. And maybe I'm lucky in that respect. But at least the few people that I have confided to in IRL have been fine have been more than fine with it. If anything, they ask question they ask questions. <laughs> What's going on here? I want to take a break from game worlds and just do some stupid AMA. Just answer questions about myself, that type of thing. Be fluff. Don't mind me, it's mostly just gonna be empty ranting for a little bit. Then maybe another game world.
But yeah, for the people that I have mentioned I'm a furry to, they've been fine with it. Whether it be online or IRL, and it kinda helps that I'm usually cagey about the subject in the first place. Only in the cases where I feel like the person can identify with me a little better, or otherwise, if I have a good, strong relationship with the person in the first place, will actually mention it. Thought you were arguing with someone? Nope, nope. It's literally just me. It's always been just me. I feel so alone. <laughs> Let's see, what con what furry cons have you been to? None. I mean, technically, ferality may count, but your mileage will vary on whether or not Luma actually counts as a convention. I am considering going to uh, the ferality convention that's happening in, like, uh, June. Like, that one's set in stone. I'm going. But aside from that, I haven't had the bravery, I also haven't had the, uh, means to get to one, so it's kind of been out of the question. Maybe eventually I can, like, try to schedule a trip to MWFF or some uh, to something in Britain just to see Tay and the others, I don't know. It might be interesting. Whee! What would your persona be if it wasn't Racky? <clears throat> That's actually a good question. I guess probably Ferret Otter. Or Kimti. One of the three. Or maybe a hybrid, or maybe a hodgepodge of the three. But the thing is, like, I... What the hell is this music? I identify with being a raccoon a little better than most other animals, because terrible immune... Because, like, terrible immune system, plus... Fine with being at night, plus very protective of family, plus... Loner nature. It... it Unfortunately, fits. Hello, Raptor! Hope you're doing well! We're doing stupid AMA stuffs! Because you kept me- <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but, serious, but seriously, uh... Played Up was really fun last night. If y'all are interested, go on to Raptor's uh, channel. You'll find- You'll find uh, Played Up on there. We spent at least a few hours last night playing it. It was fun. There's your shout out. Go crazy. Where did the die go? There. Three. Twenty-five. Do knuckle avatars? What? I have no idea what that means. What the hell is a Knuckle Avatar? Unless you mean, like, Knuckles, Sonic Knuckles, I don't... I guess, but I... Other than that, I don't know the question well. And the answer, Raptor. Uh, I was taking a bit of a break from doing Game Worlds because my arms were feeling a little sore. So... Random AMA thing. Because why not? Whee! Six. Twenty-five means thirty-one. The stereotype of your first... No raccoon stereotypes? 
Like, the most I know is cheese grater, and I still don't know what that means! I mean, like, I guess if you're talking about what most other characters see Blake as in in their universe, I guess it would be either somewhere around aloof or a shyster. Or klutz. <laughs> oh, that one. Okay, so Zolo knows. I still don't. Maybe it's for the better. <laughs> Uh oh, jeez. But yeah, Blake, by nature, tends to be a very awkward person, to the point that they don't exchange too many words, they don't make any too many public decisions. So I guess I could say they look shady, even though they're not. And unfortunately, that ends up getting them into more trouble than you'd think. And a one. Why did you choose your species? I already went over this question. I identify with raccoons. I like being up at night. I like being up at night. I'm very protective of family. Of family. I have a terrible immune system. Very aloof natured. And what also didn't help at the time was when I first made up Sage, there were zero raccoons within the Sonic universe. So I figure, hey, a raccoon, let's go with something that w no one has ever thought of in this universe. Then a few years later, a uh, rush adventure happened with Marine, and yeah. <laughs> I don't mind, Raptor. If you want to drop by, go, f go for it. I, I think this lobby is set for friends, so... I'm open to that type of thing. Yep, it's set to friends. So... In the worst case, it wouldn't be too hard to find me, uh, to find me as Sage Blake. Actually, I don't even... I don't know if I've... Uh... I don't know if I've sent you a friend request through this. Holy. Huh. Well, in the meantime, next roll of the dice. Three. Thirty-five. What ge <laughs> What gender? Actually, that's a complicated one. Because... Okay, part of it is story spoilers, kind of. I guess Blake would be he, they. And IRL me kind of is the same way, in that after a point, I've kind of just figured, you know what, fuck it. I don't care anymore about whether people see me as male, female, or what have you. I just want to be talked to. I just want to be seen. As depressing as that sounds. Boop. 
Whee! Three. Three, eight. Have you ever used Owo on a rock? <laughs> Understand the reference about reckons. Oh, gross. In that case, I don't want to understand anymore. If it's. If it's snuff, hell to the fuck no. I'm squeamish enough as is. But yes, I have used a wall, unironically, a lot. I hate myself. <laughs> Okay, here. There's a gate! <laughs> Alright! Yeah. Bye. <laughs> this place is nice. Yeah, it's one of those uh, hangout worlds, honestly. Ah. Yeah, this is the, uh, the board game thing. Yeah. It's a six. <laughs> it's a six. Use Ovo. Honestly, respectable. Ovo and Owo are eternal. <laughs> How did I find this fandom? Yeah. I don't know, just now. A tree. Let's see, thirty eight. What do you want? Something you don't like. Uh, hmm. I honestly don't know how to answer that question, because there's a lot I do like about it. I mean, I guess two of the things I could point to is the uh, stereotypy around it, slash stigma, and they're just across the board wrong. Part of it would probably end up be end up being the uh, ne'er do wells that end up spoiling it for everyone else. But at the same right, there are ne'er do wells in every fandom, so I can't really say much on that. Woo. And that's a two. A dos. That's a dos. Dose responsibly. One. Two. How long have you had the raptor? How long did I have a raptor persona? Let's see. Three years old. Really? Yeah, I huh. was th three. Ever since I started, I watched started watching Jurassic Park. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. That just makes sense. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> since I was three, and then later on into an adulthood, it just started to come alive. A good question. Four. Yeah, that's clearing the piece, but let's say it let's say it leaps around. Just for Helsies. <laughs> How many personas do you have? Hmm. <clears throat> Actually it's just Blake. So two technically, it's like 
Sage, Zinnia. And they're interchangeable almost, so. Eh. <laughs> Five. Five. Then a two, three, a four, and a five. <laughs> Enter ethics, your definition of a furry. What? You're looking at it. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> your definition of a furry. Uh. You're looking at me. <laughs> a hilarious pile of weirdness. Uh. How is it six? Six. Eight. Six, 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 six. How long have you had your main persona? Well, I've already said since middle school. Let's see here. Uh. And me, just a hatchling. I graduated high school when I was seventeen. I think I was like ten or eleven. So it's been a decade and a half. Dang, that's long. Yeah. Uh, it's a six. A one, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Conventions you've been to? One. Really? I only been to one. Yeah. It was a furry con picnic. Huh. Nice. Yeah. Made my own mask. It was not a furry. It was not a furry uh, mask, though. But it was a mask. Fair. Yep. It was a picnic. <laughs> I loved it. Nice. Five. Five. I already answered this question, so... You know what? Let's... For hellsies, re-roll this. Two. Numero dos. Plantigrade or digitigrade? Plantigrade? Digitigrade is just... I don't just... know what those are. Um, okay, so as a sample... Digitigrade would be... The current leg type that I've got right now. Oh. Plant Egg. Ox, hello. Hope you're doing well. Plantigrade would be like standard human. Oh. So as a sample, let's just pull out the Zhongli. Gotcha. That makes sense? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, Digitigrade is a pain Gosh, and a guess. half to draw. And it feels awkward to me, so plant a grade. Yep, I would have to agree on that. <laughs> yes, Ox, a sage, a raptor, and a lovey. Oh my. A one! One. What number is this? 19... 20. <laughs> Do you like scalies, so, furries, burbs, fishies, etc. the most? So a subtype. You're looking at it. <laughs> yep. I like reptiles. Especially with scales. Yeah, my mom had three black bearded dragons and... They are the one. They are the reasons why I love reptiles. Oh, cute! Yep, it's mama. It's mama, daddy, and puffy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cute names. Yep. And thanks for the sippies for the sippy ox. Already done. <gasps> sippies, sippies. Drink responsibly. Whoop. That's why I'm drinking that Code Red Mountain Dew. <laughs> How often do you get hate? Actually, not all that often. M maybe I'm lucky in that respect. I've 
just been around the right types of people or am good at gauging what people think or how they think. Hmm. How often do you get hate for being a furry? Um, I always kept it quiet until I met the right people. Yeah. And that was it. That's it for the most part. Yeah. These are actually good questions. They are. Six. Uh, six. Nice. Hey, you got the Chasmosaurus number. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. What is the furry fandom? Has the furry fandom helped you in a in some way? If so, how? Huh. Not. It helped me to be me. <laughs> The reason why is I've done, I've been through a lot. Sage, you know this. <laughs> mm. Unfortunately. And it's just meeting, and just meeting the right people in this, in this, in the furry fandom has helped me to become, helped me to be comfortable in my own skin, in a way. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How's it another one? We roll that. I knew you were. Six. <laughs> Game. <St> <laughs> Let's see. So I 17. <laughs> I already did this one too. What'd you do? Oh. <laughs> Three. I've actually already done this with <laughs> One. Oh my god, I've already said... Four. <laughs> Three. Oop. Partial or full? I, the answer, I wouldn't get one, because it's... I've heard it's super uncomfortable and... Expensive. Expensive, yeah. I would say a yeah, partial sure. at the worst. I would like to go full suit for mine. I at least want pop pads and a tail. Option, yeah. I mean, I would love to have the dino tail. You know how <laughs> happy I would be. Yeah. But if I had to choose between either one, I would go partial. A two. Ox is a partial. Nice. Three, one, two. If you had to be a sparkly color, what do you choose? If I had what? <laughs> if you had to be a sparkly I would colorful choose neither because... <laughs> dog, what colors would you choose? Huh. Why did you just... Really? What? Why does it have to be a dog? Well, let's say it's a raptor then. Have... Better? Yes. Let's see. I would say... With my least favorite colors. <laughs> what? That would be purple, pink, and bright colors. <laughs> Oh. It doesn't have to be a dog. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a Every dog, time though. Every I cough, it will be sparkles. Okay, I, I have no issues with dogs. I've seen a lot of personas that are dogs. There are a lot. Peppers, wolves. They need more dinos. Yes. Five. Twenty. Uh, hmm. This one's a question that Raptor got. Um, I am... Oxynon, don't you know. I am not giving a dog hate. 
Only hope of being lovey is the yeah, is the next life. Fair. That's fair. And to answer question twenty, um, hmm, I'm kind of I'm kind of tied between. Actually, I think I've already said like Prescient, the Prescientids, you know, ferret, the ferret, Racky, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's where my interests lie for the most part. Close second would be Kim T's. Would be a hamster. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> a hamster. A hamster for Sona. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> it would be so small. <laughs> These are all the head pets. Oh, my neck. My next persona is a hamster. <laughs> oh, this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does your persona have your personality? Yes and no. Hmm. Uh, Raptor has more of my hyperactiveness <laughs> and my childlike personality so well, that's fair blink two it's a two let's see if you uh. Okay, fine. If I have to be sparkly and colorful, <laughs> give me the best neon green and brown that you've ever seen. Mint green, by the way. And then every time you take a deep breath, sparkles come out. Yes. <laughs> Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> you just go, ah! <laughs> vomit the glitter everywhere. every time you every time you burp it's just a glitter cloud <laughs> <laughs> such a mess uh, where did my paw print yeah. go <laughs> I lost my paw print got it Whoop. I was wondering where it went sometimes they face through the earth Oh. oh, wait, was it 34, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, well. Do you ever use the word uwu unironically? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, what's this? <laughs> Two. Herbivore, omnivore, carnivore. Technically, in universe, Blake and other beings are iota. They're made of memories. Technically, none. But if they actually ate proper food, they would focus a lot on the fish. Fish, bell peppers, a lot of foods that involve vitamin C. Ah. Uh, in IRL, I'm an omnivore, but for raptor, definitely a carnivore. <laughs> Get that meat. Yeah, I like steak. <laughs> Two shoe leather. <laughs> One. I have a one. Yeah. Oh. Oop. Have you ever friended someone in VR cat chat just because they are a furry? Yes, actually. <laughs> I have. Really? <laughs> Game. On me Behave.
Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Just yoink. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What I guess. Is <laughs> I don't know. One. <laughs> Already answered. Hold on to this. <laughs> Four. Does your persona have your personality? Um, they're more straight laced. They'd be more straight laced than I actually am, because I feel like some days I border on Cloud Cuckoo Lander. I kind of picture Blake as being the serious and rational type, but with a hidden quirky side. Oh, I like this question. Ooh. If you were, if Poke you were a Pokemon, <laughs> what would your type be? Fire, water, grass, etc. Huh. Good question. That is a good question. I'd be definitely a ground type. Ground type. Huh. Yeah, ground type and or ice. That'd be interesting. Hmm. Actually, no fire after played up last night. <laughs> <laughs> It's super Setting effective. Freaking kitchen on fire. Yep. Ooh, a ground fire type. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Uh, oh, so cam so like camera up as an example. Uh. Another four. Why oh, so many repeats? Two. There, there we go. Usual home or habitat. Canonically, Blake is from the coast. They like, uh... Ugh. Their workplace is at the coast. Hello, uh... VR Jinxy. Welcome to Synapse. We also have types of wanderers here, yourself included. But yeah, Blake is usually from... Blake tends to be around the coast a lot. Their workplace was around the coast. And, yeah. Fire. <laughs> There's some salt marshes around there, but for the most part, it, coastal. That's it. Mine is jungle. <laughs> I always have to hide. <laughs> <laughs> In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the, the raptor jungle, sleeps the tonight. The raptor sleeps tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Another two. Come on. Five. Something you. Oh, oh my god, so I've already had that question too. Oop. Four. Let's see what 40 is. Four. If you were to go to a convention, which one would you go to and why? Good question. Um. There's so many. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know there's one around February, around, like, February, January-ish in my part of the world. That one's all the way over in Boston. Eh. Honestly, it would probably be either MWFF, as was previously mentioned, or one of the ones around Europe. I don't remember one off the top of my head, unfortunately. There's just so many, I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are. Alright, 
let's see if we can get one last question and no. try a different let's try a game world. Two. Oh, the Pokemon question. <laughs> Yay, my favorite. <laughs> Sweet. Uh uh, it, I wear it on my sleeve, practically. Grass type. I'd be part grass type. I can see that. I'm not sure what other secondary classing, though. I might just be a pure grass Let's type. See. Yeah, I can see that. All right. A tree. Three. Let's mill around with one more world and call it for the stream. Question is hmm. You know what? Uh, let's do something dumb. Like we didn't play that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oi! Kitchen on fire. <laughs> Oi! You do realize there is a variant of played up in VR chat. What? Oh, in that <laughs> case, I know where we're going. I need to show this to you. You're joking, right? You're joking. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. Go on. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> show this to the raptor. 